Hello everyone, this is Dave from Retired Time Productions and I've got one of the new OWL cameras here from RunCam. Now this isn't really an OWL camera review. I've already done an OWL camera review. What I want to propose here is that even though the OWL is a very good camera for low light conditions, we might could make it better by adding one of these. Now this comes from Security Cam 2000 which is affiliated with RunCam. I think they're basically the same company. And it's a... if I can get it here, upside down. So it's a PL0075 replacement lens and this is supposed to be for nighttime. And if you take a look at this lens compared to that one, there's a lot more area to gather light. So this is supposed to gather more light. And if we add that to the fact that this is a low light sensitive camera, we might be able to get even better results at night. So what I want to do is just compare the two briefly. So let's start with the standard lens that comes with the RunCam Owl. Now what I'm going to do, I've got a battery hooked up here powering it and it's hooked to my video monitor. So here I have it hooked to the video monitor. Let me see if I can get it right side up. There we go. Now what I'm going to do is, you see this dark area down in there? What I'm going to do is stick it down in there and we'll see what it looks like. Okay, let's go back and look behind the bench here and you can see what it looks like. You can see some, some detail down in there. There's a box and a few other things and the wall outlet. You can see the lights coming from the wall outlet. So that's what that one looks like. That's the, I'm calling that the OWL 2. Alright, now let's go ahead and try the other lens. Okay, so I'm just going to screw on this night vision lens on there. And of course we're going to have to focus it. Alright. So going down underneath the bench. And there's your comparison. I think we can also see there's a difference in the angle. But there's a lot more brightness in my opinion. It's really lit up down there now. In that dark area. And here's what it looks like through this camera, very dark down in there. But through the L with the uh, upgraded lens, you can really see how bright it is. Now I'm thinking that this is actually a narrow, more narrow angle lens, so that may affect the flight a little. The other thing is if you get back, you can see it's kind of circular. Not too badly distorted because it is kind of a narrow angle lens but it does have a circle around it. So I'm going to miss some of the real estate there, video real estate, but I don't think that'll be a big issue in my goggles when I'm flying FPV because the edges are often fuzzy anyway. So it may work just fine, just have to give it a try. So since this new version of the OWL basically has the same form factor as the RunCam Swift, I believe I can just take the RunCam Swift off and put the owl on this wing and take it out after sunset and give it a whirl. Okay, so there it is mounted on there. Looks like it'll work to me. We'll just have to see. And we're going to go for a flight here. I'll just give you the camera. Now it's really dark out here right now. As you can see. I think it's about 9.30 now. Let me just go ahead and turn on the goggles. There's still a little bit of sun left. Okay, turning on the goggles. Enough where we can barely see. <laughs> okay, now, yeah, I see your hand waving. Got a recording? Good idea. Let's turn on the DVR. <laughs> Is the fan going? No, probably not. 
I to hit that button. Okay, the fan's running. All right, so really looks bright up there. I'm, I'm amazed how bright it is. <laughs> Can you can you see in the goggles at all? Now yeah. shot. If you shine the camera in the goggles, can you see anything in there? No, just a white blur. Well, you can kind of see some images, but see what you think now, looking through them. Can you see anything? With your, I know it's hard with your glasses. Oh, that's bright. Yeah, it's pretty bright. More of my mouth shot got in there. <laughs> <laughs> Just being silly. All right, so we'll <laughs> take it on out here. Boy, I tell you, it's really dark. I can't see anything. With the naked eye, I can see very little. Just watch out for the property boundary post up here. I'm going to have to launch with the goggles on because I just can't see the plane. Unlock. Oh, dive. That didn't sound good, did it? Did you have it in manual or something? I had it in bypass mode. That's what I mean, yeah. Let's try it again. I should have had it in there. Angle mode. Not angle mode. I mean, uh, yeah, angle mode. All right. Let me wipe off the camera a little bit here. All right. Yeah, I thought I had it in angle mode, but maybe not. Let's try it again. That's just good. <laughs> there it goes. He's still porpoised a little bit, though. All right. Turn it in horizon mode. All right, I'm able to see, though. That's the important thing. How well is the trick? Well, I can see the ground coming overhead. It's a I'm little grainy. Away that, yeah. It's a little grainy, but... I'm not even aiming at it. I'm just going to sit here. <laughs> I can't see it hardly anyway. I can hear it though. Taking the amps down a little bit. Wow, those lights from the houses look like a reflector pond. Reflection pool or something like that. But lucky for the lights from the houses, I can kind of get my orientation. Okay, coming up overhead. I see it. Oh, got it. Yeah. There's a party over there somewhere. I can see down towards the clubhouse. A lot of light there. I'm only at 40, 57 feet, it says, but... Now 79. Seen tenants way out in the distance there. Looks pretty good though, I'm amazed. Still, at this time of night, this dark, it's picking up light from the sky that, you know, you wouldn't even think was there. Okay. Coming around. All right, I'm going to try to bring it in. I'm pretty sure it works. Stick the landing. I see it. There it is. Almost right next to us. Excellent. Boy, I tell you, that was amazing. So dark, I can't even see where I'm stepping in deer poop or not. I know. it. I can't see a thing. I can maybe see a little bit of the sand traps down there. Can you yeah, see? I see that a little bit in the roof of the barn, just peeping out of the trees there. Just barely. The camera can't even catch any of that, as far as I can tell. This one, anyway. All right, I'll go back it's in all stable. fuzz. Stabilize mode. Out. Off. Bypass mode. 
going to bypass mode. Shut off the stabilization. All right, that worked good. Now, oh, please get some light here. <laughs> that was amazing. Hold up, I gotta get my light out. Okay. There, got it. Now, can you get me on camera? Yeah. Say, that was amazing. I could really see. Yeah. And it's just nothing, no light out here. Yeah. It's a cloudy, it's a cloudy night. Yeah, right? There's no moon, no stars. There is a little light left over from the sun below the horizon. Yeah. You know what I learned about the sunset, though? When you see the sunset set, it's actually already been set. Yeah, I heard that, too. Yeah, there's, because of the refraction. It's really below, the sun's really below the horizon, even though you can still see it, right? Yeah, something like that. That's probably what we're picking up, is refracted light. Because the sky looked really bright on the camera. Yeah. Just amazing. All right, going to unplug. Hey, those bricks are still warm from the sun today. All right. Hey, that's what it's picking up, all yeah. the heat. <laughs> we need to stop the recording. Of course, this auto records because it got the new DVR. Even if I unplug it, it'll save the recording. But I'm going to stop it anyway. There we go. Just to be on the safe side. Absolutely. All right. Walk me to the door using your special light from your cell phone. <laughs> I tell you, it's not as bright as my flashlight is on a fresh battery. I mean, my little Radio Shack one. <laughs> I mean, it's bright. I can probably get it. Hold on. There we go. Now, here's a clip from midnight. We went out when it was really dark at midnight, but there was a full moon, so that added some ambient light. John's pointing up to a, an aircraft that's flying by. You can see the blinking lights. It was really dark. We couldn't we couldn't make out much. There's what it looks like looking straight at the moon. John noticed another aircraft flying by. You can see it moving along there. And there's a couple of uh, stars or planets underneath the moon that are showing up. And you can kind of see how the light plays off the clouds. But yeah, it was really dark out there. So it looks to me like you could even fly at midnight. You just have to adjust the brightness contrast on your goggles to make it look the best that you can. But yeah, it's definitely flyable. So I'm pretty happy with the setup. So that was a pretty good experiment. We got that great big lens on there. And like I said, it's one of these right here. It's the PL0075. And I was using the Dominator V2 goggles with the DVR upgrade and uh, this is my Tyrannus radio and the plane was flying with a B rotor flight controller right here on the bottom and of course 5.8 alright thanks for watching we'll see you next time Keep your